So you've just made a major investment in video hosting and now you might be wondering, what's next? In this video, I'm gonna show you the five quick steps to get started with video. Hey everyone, it's Zach from Impact. Welcome back to Film School for Marketers. Today we're talking about the first major steps you need to take to get started with Vidyard. Assuming you've already made the purchase, congratulations. I'm as excited as you are. I love Vidyard and I love video and so I'm so happy for you. Now, without further ado, let's get into the, the basic five steps. Step number one, this is gonna be mind blowing for you. You've got to set up your Vidyard account. And by set up your Vidyard account, I mean you need to uh, allow all of your users access to the platform. You need to go ahead and set up your branded sharing page. You need to uh, set up your first video group or groups, which is where basically like playlists where you're going to upload different types of videos into different groups. So you're gonna wanna make sure you get all that stuff set up, all the setup tasks out of the way before you continue on to step two, which is to start uploading all of your content. You take all those awesome videos, you might choose to pull some of your YouTube videos in there, you might put all your sales content, your webinars, your customer testimonials, whatever it might be, and you're gonna start adding those videos into players. So quick side note, with Vidyard, there's videos and there's players, two separate things. The video is the media that goes into the player. So this is really cool because with other video platforms, if you wanted to change, let's say, a call to action or, or change the player to look different or something like that, then you would have to upload multiple versions of that video. With Vidyard, you, upload, you can upload that same video and have it in many different players customized however you want to, so that's really cool. Step number three, now you wanna add your interactive overlays. Now Vidyard calls these overlays events, and an event is a sort of call to action, form, or interactive element that uh, you wanna include at any point in the video. Now I recommend you start off with a few basic ones, so it might be, you know, book a meeting, or a simple email form, uh, or just a simple button that you could change out the URL depending on what the purpose of that particular call to action might be. But as soon as you set those up, you can use them as templates and apply them to any of the players that you'd like. Now moving on to step four, now that you've got all of these players ready to go, they're ready to ship, go ahead and ship them. So you can add them into your sales emails. You could add them into, embed them on your website obviously. You can put them out on social. You could just share them with your branded sharing page. Whatever the case might be, just get the word out. Go ahead and distribute everything where it's appropriate. Uh, and that will take you right into step five, which is now you can begin to track user engagement. And this is like the best part. Now you've gone through all this work, you can actually start to see how people are engaging with that content. So with Vidyard, you've got really awesome heat maps where you can see how the viewers are engaging and watching, rewatching the content. Uh, you can see all of your embed locations, uh, total video views, all the important, important metrics that you need as a marketing or sales professional or service professional to uh, maybe know where to refine those videos or maybe put them in a different place or any of the tactical decisions you need to make, you need to make based on data. And so now is your opportunity to do that. I hope this helps. Five major steps. Just as a quick review, set up your Vidyard account. Go ahead and upload all of your video content, add all of your interactive overlays, embed the videos in a particular spot, wherever that might be, and then start to track all those videos. If you do those five things, you're off to the races. Of course, there's a lot more to the platform than that, but that will get you started really quick. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button below. Subscribe for more content from Film School for Marketers. And until next time, keep learning.